Hi, my name is Ian Tan and welcome to my weekly video where we talk about how we can always do things in better ways. Last week, I came across a few YouTube videos that really got me very excited. I had never seen anything like this before. They were university lectures by a person called Larry McInerney who headed the writing program at the University of Chicago. He taught the graduate students that they had been writing a lot in their lives, but what they had written would not be able to connect to people in the real world. What did he mean by that? Let's take a look at some excerpts from his lecture here. What I'm here to talk to you about is at two levels. One is sort of a high level, explaining why it is that people who are really, really smart, something faculty at the University of Chicago, students at the University of Chicago, really smart people, why do they have trouble writing effectively? You've been writing and 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 writing. But it's not real for a couple of reasons. This is the one I'm going to be most uh, aggravating about. They need their writing to be clear, organized, persuasive. The bottom two are not very interesting, a little bit, but the top one is valuable. When you leave as a student, whether you're a professor or working outside the academy, the most important thing about your writing is that it be valuable. And I would argue that not only have you ne not learned how to do this, you've learned habits that work against your ability to make your writing valuable. We teach, our, our specialty at the University of Chicago is what we call expert writing. That is, we work with people who are experts in the way they think about the world. In the real world, when you're done with this, you, have, you will have created a text. You will send that text to your readers. And in the real world, not the world you're in now, the function of that text is to cause readers to change what they think about the world. That's its job. It's to cause the readers to change what they think about the world. And whether or not it's valuable depends on whether or not the readers perceive that you have valuably changed what they think or what they do, or how they decide. And I would be willing to bet that in your, co your schooling years, you virtually never did that. Was that what your writing was for as a student? When you wrote a paper, did you fail the paper if you didn't change what the teacher thought about the world? What Larry said is really true. Most of the time, we think that our thoughts are very important to everybody else. But the truth is, most of them don't care. We have to connect to them in the way that they view the world in order to persuade them and to change their minds. So whenever I write anything today, whether it is a simple email, a LinkedIn post, or creating a video like this, I have to think very hard. And what I'm saying, is it valuable to you, the audience? Or is it just filler content? That's all for today. I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you.